Hi, I'm George Bandy Jr. and I'm the Vice President of Sustainability for a company named Interface. I'd probably say that uh, being around my grandparents uh, growing up in Opelika, Alabama was an interesting time and they believed in of not throwing anything away and making sure that we were responsible for the things and being connected to um, the land that God had entrusted with us and being a steward of the earth. And so understanding that model and living that model as a grandchild to my grandparents was uh, an experience that exposed me to what I didn't know was called sustainability, but was really a frame of mind to help think about the things and the decisions that we make and how it impacts others in the community and in the neighborhood and then globally, and that we're all connected to nature in a much more significant way than we often think. I think that the, the most important thing for middle school students is to know that you cannot develop a business model, whether it's a startup, whether it's a technology business that doesn't take into consideration that you're a part of nature. Nature is the bigger landscape for where you need to paint your business. So if you begin to think about, you know, if you have a pencil business and you run out of trees, you just ran out of business. So thinking about a restorative model, a model that regenerates itself, or taking something that would be considered a waste and turning it into a food, or creating a model that's cyclical rather than linear in its frame of thinking, then you have a much stronger opportunity to stay in business and to create the kind of wealth that generates and helps everyone get better. Probably, if, if you think about how we best give stewardship in return to communities, I think the legacy projects is, a, is something that pops to mind from the interface frame uh, of thinking. Uh, legacy projects are actually projects that we do for our annual sales meeting, uh, depending on where we have it. One time it was in Naples, Florida, sometimes it's in Atlanta, uh, it may be in Chicago, but when we have a sales meeting, all of our sales reps globally come to this location. So we started doing these legacy projects and saying we wanted to leave an environmental and social legacy in the community that we had our sales meeting. So for half a day, every sales rep goes out and we do multiple projects, whether it's working at a homeless shelter or if it's going out and cleaning up vacant lots in that particular community or if it's going out and working at an animal shelter, or if it's going out and cleaning up walls or, or community areas. How do we actually give of ourselves? Sometimes people think of giving financially as the only way to actually contribute to being a steward of the earth, but there's multiple ways. There's that way, of course, in terms of making contributions to organizations that do great stuff, but it's also giving of yourself in terms of volunteer time and corporations thinking about their people having a frame of mind or a culture of giving from themselves to give to a community that we're going to take from in results of being here for a period of time for a sales meeting. That has cascaded into projects that we do other places. So now they regionally have legacy projects that some of the regional vice presidents create for their local sales teams to do something in the communities that they serve as well. And it's almost been a contagious aspect of the company. So how can you give of yourself to become restorative and also prepare the type of mindset for people to do really well in an environment that needs that type of giving.